okay in this video instead of using the router as the DHCP server we're actually going to have a separate server to act as DHCP server so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a router and put it here right I got my PC here and then I'll have a server a generic server over here now I'm going to set this server up I'm going to click on the server and configure it so on the server I'm going to set it up statically. I'm going to give it an IP address 192.168.5.5. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to make the gateway All right, 5.1 and that's it. So 5.5 .5 and 5.1 is going to be the gateway. And so he's set up. Then I'm going to go to his services that the server offers. And I'll click on DHCP. And you can see that it's already been configured um, as a default. So I need to change it. So I'm going to highlight this here and change that to 1.100. So if I highlight it, see if that changes here. All right. Save. That, see that can change it so then I can put in the default gateway so 1.1 .1 will be the gateway that you're gonna hand out and 8.8.4.4 let's say will be the DNS server that you're gonna hand out save and the first address will be 192.168.1.100 and you're gonna hand out 50 addresses kinda like a wireless router at home right and hit save and so server pool is now configured right and you can turn it on now all right so now this router I'm gonna put his IP address right here 192.168.5.5 he's configured ready to go right so now we gotta do is connect to him and get everybody else configured up this PC is going to I'm going to release he has nothing he's going to be set to DHCP right now I'll put him to static and then at the right moment we'll change him to DHCP okay we got to configure the router and we got to put in our connections so from this PC to the router we're going to need some crossover cables so we'll go to fast ethernet to 00, zero and over here from the server's Ethernet to fast Ethernet 01. All right, so there you have that. Now we click on the router and we configure the router. So just basically, I'm going to type enable to get to the global config mode. I'm going to type conf t. Now I'm in global config mode. And we're going to set up interface fa0 slash 0. And we're going to give an IP address whoops space 192.168.1.1 right no shut for no shutdown okay then I'm gonna configure interface FA01 right and that IP address is going to need to be 5.1. Okay, and no shut. All right, so that's up. So now our interfaces on our router are up. Right over here, the router is 192.168.5.1. Okay, right here on this interface, it's 5.1, and the server's 5.5. And then over here, on this interface, he's 192.168.1.1, right? It's 192.168.1.1 over here. And the PC is going to be DHCP client trying to receive an IP address from the DHCP server over here right so what we want is we want the router to relay DHCP server discovery packets from the client to the server and then the server can send a DHCP offer 
through the router to the client. And to do that, all you have to do is you have to set up um, IP helper address on the router. So you go to the router, you go to the interface that you're going to want to hand it out on. So we're going to hand out addresses on this interface. So I'm going to int fa0 slash 0. So I make sure that I'm in the 00, zero interface. And then I say IP helper dash address. Okay, two Ds. IP helper dash address and then give it the address 192.168.5.5 and that's going to be the helper address hit enter no shut alright and so now the router has a helper address right here and now the client should be able to get an IP address so go to the client and we'll go to IP configuration, set up DHCP. The request goes out, and the router should allow the request to go through. And it failed. Let's take a look at our router. And we'll do a control C. Show run, show our running configuration. IP helper address right here is 5.5, right? Right, IP address 5.1, right? So everything looks pretty good. Um, so in looking at why this isn't working, let's take a look at our server. And our server, let's see if our server can communicate. Our server is static gateway set to 5.1, that's good, right? And its IP address is 5.5 .5, and its gateway is 5.1 so that's good make sure that it can ping okay it can ping the router right so and then we have to make sure that the server has its DHCP services on DHCP is on. 1.1 is handing out. 1.100. All right, that looks good. Looks like it's. We'll turn it off. Maybe we'll turn it back on again. All right, and so now it should be going through. So let's give it another shot. We go to our client, IP configuration, and you can see now that it is working. It just took some time. Go static, and do DHCP. And there's the request, it's successful.